This is Dan from Rebel Gaming Club. And did I just complete my GameCube set? GameCube set. It feels so fucking good. Ten months ago, my collection was standing at 245 titles. I had a lot of the first party stuff, I had the Mario parties, I had the double dashes, and I had some common stuff too that I'd find at yard sales. But I figured since I was already halfway there, maybe I should just go all the way and go for the full 552 games. And so I did. I chose, I said I was going to put a, a time limit on this. I wanted six months to get this done. Well, we realize now it took me ten months to get this done, which is still pretty good. Because at that point, 245 games compared to the 552 that I needed was a pretty big jump. GameCube set. It feels so fucking good. Oh, I got the GameCube set. It feels so fucking good. Mm, ah, yeah. So I said 552. What you actually see is 549. I did not collect the Pokemon box, which really wasn't a game. I didn't get the Wind Waker Metroid combo pack, which it's a variant. And I also did not get the Steel Book for Resident Evil 4, which was the GameStop exclusive, because I already had that as well. So, 549 games. I'm going to give you some tips today to try to help you in case you're going for a complete set. Tip number one, always buy in lots. You know, the $100, $150 lots are the way to go. Facebook, Craigslist, get those games, flip them. You know, the ones you have doubles of. Because that's where you're going to find a lot of the crappy titles like the Legends of Wrestling, the Looney Tunes, the, the Hitmans of the world. You're, you're going to find those in there. and You're going to want to save some money by doing that. Uh, tip number two, Make friends on YouTube. If you're a YouTuber, let it be known you're going for a complete collection. A lot of times, people are going to want to help you out because it's cool to see these kind of goals achieved. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram, snap photos of what you're collecting. Let, let it be known. You know, Let your friends know. Let your family know. Those guys are going to help you out and towards that goal. Uh, I personally have helped out the video game wizard when he was going for a complete N64 set. I sent him a couple games. So people are out there and they want to help people out. Tip number three, decide if you want the manuals or not. Me, 80% of my games are complete. 20% I said, you know what, it's alright, I don't need it. So Disney Basketball, take that one for, for example. I got mine for $100 without the manual. If I wanted the manual, I was going to have to spend another hundred plus dollars. I said it wasn't worth it. There was a few other titles in here too uh, that I said it just wasn't worth it. If I really loved the game, the manual had to be there. If I didn't care about the game so much, it, it didn't matter to me. So you got to make that decision for yourself. Do you want the manual? Does it mean that much to you? Tip number four. If you're having a hard time finding some of these commons, Go to LukeyGames.com or JJ Games, and you can find a lot of the, the bottom end stuff that's that's common but uncommon to you for four to five dollars. And you can kind of keep that momentum going. I know for me a couple times I kind of hit a wall where I just had no other avenues. So I hit up those sites and I was able to actually pick up 10 or 15 games at a time. Uh, on the cheap really and Lukey Games has a reward system so you're spending money they're giving you points back so you can reinvest into other games as well like a reward system so those are four basic tips for you guys GameCube set. It feels so, fucking good. Oh, 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 oh. so if you guys are deciding you want to go for a complete set like this I felt like it was the time to do it because I'm seeing the market. I've been collecting for the last four years, so I was seeing games like Cubivore. Two years ago, I knew that game was selling for around $100 complete. Now that game's upwards of $185. Then you had other titles like Go Go Hyper Grind. I lucked out on that. The, the price charting had it for $25 when I picked it up about a year and a half ago, but I knew it was more uncommon than that. And of course, I picked it up and then two months later, it bounced up to around 60, 70 bucks. So, if you guys are wanting to do this, I would say right now is the time because this stuff just keeps bumping up, guys. 
Um, the commons are still staying, you know, around that four to five dollar mark, but there's a lot of in-betweens that if you're not aggressive right now, it's, I think it's only going to get harder as people get older that grew up with this stuff as children and they have some disposable cash. Uh, I have some thanks. I have a list of thanks because without them, this never would have happened. First up, I want to thank Tight White. want to Thank Chase in the Classics, Bill Benton, Captain Retro, Jesse Benson, Josh Haslam, Chris LeClaire, Gil, aka Mr. G, Michael's Workshop, Stephen Thomas, Septum Sin vs. the World, Shad Juice, Chris Miller, Tom O'Day, Yes Ayasha, and Nick Grandchamp. And there's that one dude that sent me Virtual Quest. I forgot your name, and I sent you that Smash Bros. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All these guys help make this come true. So, without them, this never would have happened. So here it is, guys. A complete GameCube set. GameCube set. It feels so fucking good. Oh. I got the game.